This is the rumor report with Angela Yee on the Breakfast Club. So let's set it off with Jermaine Dupri. He was talking to People Magazine and had some things to say about female rappers. I feel like they're all rapping about the same thing, and I don't think they're showing us who's the best rapper. It's like strippers rapping. As far as rap goes, I'm not getting who is the best rapper. I'm getting like, okay, you got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. All right, who's right. gonna be the rapper? So, you're so different. yeah. Well, what's I, the, I, what is the thing that you want to see if you're not like? Just it? more. I mean, I feel like at some point somebody's gonna have to break out of that mold and just show us, a, you know, talk about other things. Well, this was heated, and as far as responses to Jermaine Dupri, because that's far from the truth. Now, here's what Cardi had to say. First of all, I rap about my because she's my best friend, you know what I'm saying? And second of all, it's because it seemed like that's what people want to hear. When I did be careful, people was talking mad shit in the beginning. Like, what the f is this? This is not what I expected. I expected this, I expected that. So it's like, if that's what people ain't trying to hear, then all right, then I'm going to start rapping about my f again. And second of all, there's a lot of female rappers that be rapping their ass off and don't be talking about their and y'all don't be supporting them. Okay, I, I I highly disagree with Jermaine Dupri. I think it's a lot of variety in female rap and always has been. Cardi, Meg Thee Stallion, City Girls, whoever you want to talk about that raps about scripting, they actually do rap about more than that. Kodak, right. Bodak Yellow wasn't about scripting. No. Uh, Be Careful's not about scripting. No. I Like It Like That's not about scripting. The Joint with Bruno's not about scripting. Press not about scripting. City Girls rap about scamming. Meg Thee Stallion can actually rap rap. So I would have to know who Jermaine Dupri is talking about specifically. And there's just so many female rappers. I don't even know how you can put it. Even we were just talking about the BET Awards and all the women that were nominated for best female rapper in that category, some great standouts. You and when know? you talk about male rappers, what about Lizzo, what about Cash Doll, Cash what about Doll. Mm -hmm. When you talk about male rappers, male rappers have all the same stories too. They talk about their ops, their guns, their drugs, their money, their penises, their, jewelry, their, their gangs, cars. and nobody complains. So I don't understand what JD is talking about. And Melly responded as Who well. Talks about their penis. Melly said, honestly, I see y'all tag me, but huh? let's talk about how females technically end up rapping about vads because that's what sells. You only. Uh, like when we tell y'all about our vads. Not every rapper is a stripper, and so the F what? Strippers have bars and goals, too. So a lot of people were uh, very upset about this. Mm -hmm. And as you know, um, I mean, of course, there's artists like Rhapsody, there's Snow the Product, there's Young M.A. Now listen, there's... a zillion different artists. Mm -hmm. You know I love Snow the Product, but I've been telling y'all for a couple years. Dreezy. I've been telling y'all for a couple years since Layla's Wisdom dropped by Rhapsody. Rhapsody is the dopest rapper not named Kendrick Lamar. I ain't even talking about gender. I'm talking about period. I, Rhapsody is the dopest rapper not named Kendrick Lamar out here in these streets. And I'm talking about the new class, not the OGs. I'm talking about this new generation. Rhapsody is my favorite rapper. Only other artists Rhapsody I look forward. Busy. Only other artists I look forward to hearing to hearing hearing from like Rhapsody is Kendrick Lamar. Big Sean and the late great Nipsey Hussle from this generation. All right, now let's skip ahead and let's talk about Ed Sheeran. So Ed Sheeran's album is out, and Charlamagne, your interview with Ed Sheeran has dropped in full today as well. Yes, it did. And so we have a little highlight for you of Ed Sheeran talking about working with Eminem. You know, so many people say that I can't rap, but I'm allowed on a song with Eminem and 50 Cent rapping. Yeah. So like, I, I mean, the hook that I wrote is so 50 Cent. It's yeah. like, no, the call of the day. It just had to, it had to be the, had to be that. I made that song in Sweden with Max Martin, who's a, he's a really big songwriter producer. And I said to Max, I was like, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to London tomorrow to go and guest with Eminem. And I walked in Eminem's dressing room and it's him and 50 Cent in there. And I was like, has to be meant to be. Yes, so there's that song, Remember the Name, featuring Eminem and 50 Cent on that new Collaborations album that's out now. Yeah, number six Collaborations. Great record with 50 Cent and Eminem, but I told Ed he dropped the ball because he should have gotten Dr. Dre to do the beat. That would have been dope. That would have made it complete. Yeah, you know but I'm, I'm sure he was in the moment was like, you know what, we're going to do this right now. He told like, me. got to do what I got to do. He told me why Dre didn't do the beat, but I forgot. It took too long. Our people are mad that, <laughs> that you got the only um, Ed Sheeran interview. Why do you mad? Cause no, he didn't do no other. Yeah, he's not doing outlets. no other press. I mean, he don't want to do no other press. And he's uh, his tour is over in August, and then he's gonna go into hibernation. So, hey, man, it is what it is. What you want me to do? Nah. Black, right, black well, privilege. I'm Angela Yee, <laughs> and that is your. You're mad at me because I got the only interview with that. I'm Angela Yee, and that's, that's your rumor. That's, that's, what what I heard. that's my guy. I flew out to London. I went to stayed in his house for a few days. You know, was in his lake. Wow. Is that a drinking cold, his pub? Is that a colder? Drinking his pub and in his lake? Drinking his pub? It's my guy. What you you kinky, bro. We've been, knowing, we've been knowing that for a few years. No, let's not act like Ed hasn't been on the Breakfast Club a couple times. Yeah, Ed, shout out to Ed Sheeran. Ed, listen to the Breakfast Club. That's my guy. I talk to Ed for no reason. Me and Ed hang out. What you want me to do? All right, well, go in his lake then. You know, black privilege. All right. <laughs>